Thank you for sharing your afternoon with us on Kabobayan LA. Sana po marami kayong natututunan as today we are giving you our very special real estate edition of Kabobayan LA sa tulong po ni Mia McLeod, realtor from McLeod and Associates who has been explaining to us the ins and outs of the real estate industry. And so, so far we've talked about the different types of sales, short sales, do's and don'ts, ins and outs. Also, we've talked about strategies in order to uh, uh, buy a property these days. But then at the same time, like I mentioned earlier, it can be very exciting yet very scary because you know it's a big responsibility and there are complexities that you need to understand with your realtor but Mia has also assured us that there are uh, contingencies in place so there's no need to be scared what are those contingencies let's watch this Mia the last time you were here we talked about how um, difficult it was to look for properties to buy um, so are we calling it it's a seller's market is that what they're saying or you know yeah in some areas definitely a seller's market when you list a property for sale it could be done or you could get multiple offers within 24 hours right. so definitely in some cases you know you're seeing multiple offers and it closes up above list price so when uh, somebody wants to buy and um, through a lot of patience and aggressive offers of yes. course with the help of, uh, of your realtor mm -hmm. um, and you're able to get the purchase mm -hmm. what are some of the things that we need to understand purchase contract and contingencies okay well you know first of all a lot of buyers are overwhelmed especially first-time home buyers today because of the competitive market but what they don't know is that the standard purchase contract has a lot of protections in place for them mm -hmm. and of these uh, protections there are what we call contingencies there are three main contingencies the loan contingency the appraisal contingency and the home inspection contingency mm -hmm. And in a market like today where bidding, war, bidding wars are happening all the time and offering above list price is becoming more and more the norm, mm -hmm. these buyers' number one question is, you know, what if uh, the appraisal does not come in at the purchase contract price? Right. So, you know, what kind of protections do they have in place? Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, you know, before you make an offer on that house, you know, you definitely want your realtor to do area comps, do their due diligence on the market value. Mm -hmm. So let's say you find a property that's 350000 listed at 350. You absolutely love that house. So you make an offer on it. You make an offer at 370 because after your realtor's due diligence, area comps are coming in at 370 and you want to be competitive. Mm -hmm. Now the seller accepts that offer and then your lender will order an appraisal. Mm -hmm. But let's say that appraisal comes in at 365000 Right. So you're $5,000 short. short yes. uh, the true value is showing 365, not 370. 375. Yes. What are your options? Yes. One, go back to the seller. Show them that appraisal report and negotiate the price back down. Okay. Two, if the buyer is, um, or if the seller is not willing to do that, then you as the buyer can out of pocket that difference. Mm. Three, if you as a buyer don't have the funds or you don't want to bring in that difference and the seller's not willing to negotiate the price down, well, that's why you have that appraisal contingency that protects you where you can cancel at that point. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, and then the, the second contingency is the home inspection contingency. You can walk into a house, it looks absolutely turnkey, gorgeous, upgraded to the naked eye, everything looks great. Mm -hmm. But little do you know, there could be foundation issues, uh, there could be plumbing issues, electrical issues, roofing issues, um, etc. So that's why it's so important. Hire a licensed um, home inspector so that they can do a thorough analysis and provide you with a report of the condition of the property. Right. And I just want to note on there because in a competitive market like today, a lot of buyers are accepting these properties and it's as is condition. Exactly. They're yeah. willing to take it yes. with those repairs. Right. But if they're a buyer that's taken out a loan, mm -hmm. these lenders have their own parameters and a certain guideline that they want these uh, property condition to be. Mm -hmm. So if it's missing a stove or it has chip paint mm -hmm. or or maybe missing flooring or um, some appliances or foster mm -hmm. whatever it is they will not exactly they won't lend on it if that's their guideline so even as a buyer you're willing to take it like that right. If your lender does not um, allow the property condition to be in that state, they won't get money. You won't get they, a loan. They won't get the loan, so okay. you you will have to mitigate those issues before you right. close escrow on it. Yeah, you know what? It, it it is exciting to buy your own property, especially first time home buyers. But mm -hmm. um, also at the same time, it can be scary the way you explain it now. Mm -hmm. Given mm -hmm. this, given these conditions, these situations, 
What are your last thoughts, parting thoughts or advice that you can give to um, people out there that may want to buy, that are looking to buy? Okay, well, it is scary, and that's why you have those contingencies in place. And really quickly, that loan contingency is the last one, okay. and that's one other contingency that can protect you mm -hmm. um, in the event your loan doesn't go through. But my uh, last pieces of advice is I know buyers are feeling burnt out. Mm -hmm. They're frustrated. They're making multiple offers, and they're not winning the bid. You know, my two cents is stay the course, be aggressive, be realistic, and be patient. Sometimes that means you have to go back to the drawing board with your realtor and maybe make adjustments. But, you know, as long as you're open-minded, you have strategies in place, a good realtor, and you're realistic, there's a home out there for every buyer. What is, um, what is the typical, what is the average time from wanting to buy, starting to look at places, or getting pre-approved even, until the time you get a place? Okay, so, you know, the escrow period itself, that's already when you've already identified a property and you're in contract can be 30 to 45 days, depending okay. on the type of loan or financing you're taking. And it could be as short as, you know, 10, 14 days if you're a cash buyer. But the touring process, yes. that's where it varies. It okay. really depends on how aggressive that buyer is, how much time they put into it, and how much they make it a priority. So it could be as quick as the first tour, you find something, you're realistic with your offer, and you get an accepted offer. But it also could be months. Yes. There are some people Years that... Years too, even? If you're touring years, you really have to go back to the drawing board and make some adjustments because right, right. that means you're definitely not being realistic or your realtor's not doing a good job. Uh -huh. um, unless you're in a short sale. Uh -huh. You know, if you've locked in early on in a contract on a short sale, mm -hmm. well, those can take long. Right. But if you're loyal to the process, it could take as long as a year, but at least you stuck it out with that one property. Right. If you're touring for a year and you're making offers left and right and you've never solidified a contract, then I would say some adjustments definitely need to be made at that point. And and the number one maybe is to change your realtor. And McLeod and Associates, they know what they're doing. Mia, you've been in the business for how long now? We've been open for eight years. Eight years. And yes. you as a realtor, how many years have you been? In eight years we've been open, but our team collectively has over 30 years of experience. Over 30 years of experience. That is priceless. Information on the screen. Call them now if you are looking to buy or looking to sell or if you want to list your property. That's the number to call. Thank you. More power to you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today on the show. Sana po marami kayong natutunan. If you missed any of the segments today or any of the shows previously, log on to YouTube. We are there, www.youtube.com slash LA18. Meanwhile, this has been Janelle Sawyer, Kababayan in Los Angeles. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you next time.